Hello lovelies, today we are going to talk about the closure and history of Shrek 4D. This is a ride that has existed at various Universal Parks for over 10 years. This ride has been around since 2003, so and it's due for closure in January. So let's jump right into this. As always, grab your snack, grab your drink, give this a like and a subscribe if you feel like it. You are not obligated and let's just talk about it. Roll the intro. Alright, let's jump right into this. The history of Shrek 4D starts with the success that was Shrek 1 in 2001. With that movie being so huge, they included in the contract that they would have to do a little short film for the, rele for the release of the, the ride. Because this was already in development in 2001 because DreamWorks was bankrupt at this time. The Road to El Dorado didn't make it in the box office. It didn't make it in the box office and so Katzenberg decided, the guy that owns partially owns DreamWorks at the time, decided, well, if we're going to do this, we're, we got to make a deal with someone. So they decided Universal. So they got the original cast and the voice of John Lithgow, who died in the first movie as Lord Farquaad, to do a short, which the short would become Shrek 4D. Shrek 4D basically follows the storyline that you first you're taken into the pre-show, where you're told the what the first movie, what happened in the first movie, for those of you that don't know what the first movie was, you get told the story, a brief summary of it, and then Lord Farquaad's ghost, along with his henchmen, decide to try to interrogate you to see where Shrek and Fiona are. So Lord Farquaad can get his revenge. Of course, when the, the audience doesn't give Lord Farquaad what he wants, they're taken into the actual showroom where they're not actually addressed again. The audience isn't actually addressed again for the entire duration of the, of, of the rest of the ride. But that's the, basically the premise. And this is actually one ride you don't have to go to Universal to experience because it is known on Netflix as the Ghost of Lord Farquaad, where basically you just watch the events of Shrek 4D, what happens in the main showroom, without the and without the 4D, you know. <laughs> and this was also has went through like quite a few different like iterations because. When it was once put on a deluxe DVD pack as Shrek 3D with those paper 3D glasses that used to come with DVDs. I know I used to have the Hannah Montana Jonas Brothers one and I bought it used so it only had one pair of glasses in it. And like the little, the red one was knocked out. <laughs> and as much as the first movie was a success, so was Shrek 4D. And this has been such, like, a staple. It's, in Singapore, they have a whole far, far away area. Like, the land of far, far away, they have a whole area of far, far away. And Shrek 3D, or Shrek 4D, is, like, the main centerpiece of Universal Singapore, actually. So, that's how big this was. Many of the people that worked on the actual Shrek film... Like, the animators, they got the original composer, they got the original cast, which includes Eddie Murphy, Cameron Diaz, John Lithgow, Eddie Murphy, Mike Myers. I'm pretty sure I said Eddie Murphy twice. I'm so sorry if I did. But they got the original cast, They, uh, which... Those are huge celebrities. They, they, they took the making of this ride very seriously. So, this ride did... If this ride has gone fairly well for all these years, why are they closing it down? Well, we kind of knew for a while that it was starting to go downhill because of the technology is one thing. It, I think the one in Hollywood got like a refurbishment where they got like a donkey animatronic or something. And that couldn't save it, really. They got a donkey animatronic, which com tells you nothing about the beginning of the first movie. Like, nothing that happens. Which cut the ride substantially in time. So that didn't save it. And so they closed that down. And now it's like a Kung Fu Panda slash DreamWorks centered ride. And now the one in Orlando is closing. 
in a few of the other ones. I think it's not the Singapore one. They're keeping the Singapore one as far as I'm aware. But I know a few other ones have closed down. And now this is one of the only three to exist are closing. So now there's only going to be two that exist in the world. But again, you don't have to really be sad because it's going to exist on Netflix as the Ghost of Lord Farquaad. So I think what's happening is just that it's it, it's existed for so long and they haven't really done any updates to any of them. And plus, again, it's on Netflix now. So what do people need to go see the movie? Why do people need to go see Shrek 4D when they basically have Shrek 4D at home? And seeing as this ride has kind of existed through a lot of people's childhoods, it is kind of sad that it's closing, but a lot of people think maybe they're going to be making, um, this is specifically for the Orlando one that is closing now, a lot of people think maybe, maybe, that when they close down the showroom, it's going to be, um, they're going to tear down the stage, and then they're going to build something for the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, which... As a Harry Potter fan myself, I would not be upset at all if they did something else to expand the Wizarding World. I would, I would be excited. I, I, I would, I would be happy for that. Yes, I would. But there's also other rumors that they might be making a Despicable Me ride in there. So, but those are all rumors right now. And I just thought I would give you guys like the closure news that it's closing. If you didn't know about that. And a little bit of its history, because I actually found its history quite interesting. Like, I knew that somebody had told me once before, they're like, hey, have you ever seen that Ghost of Lord Farquaad? Yeah, it's, I guess it's a ride at Universal. And I was like, that's a ride? And they're like, yeah, it's a ride. I'm like, oh, interesting. And it was so weird trying to find information on this ride. You know, as long as it's existed, I couldn't really find that many videos about it. Like, I found multiple playthroughs, but, like, I couldn't find really anyone talking about its history. So I had to go, like, look through Google for art for articles and stuff. I found one video on here about it, but it had most of the information already that I was reading about on, like, Wiki and things like that. So, yeah found that a little interesting. So if you guys liked this video, give this a thumbs up. If you feel like it, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for whenever I post a video. Um, this is the random show. I do lots of random weird content. I do books. I do internet stuff, internet news. I sometimes talk about true crime. I like theories about Disney things, conspiracy theories, books, and theme park news. If you guys want to see something else from me, let me know in the comments. And I'll see you guys later in the next one. Bye.